legs. Stinking itchy. I don't know who this message is for. This is my ocean view. What the Why do these look yellow? Dependable. I'm so irritated. <laughs> Duh. On in. I am dressed. You can please barely see me. Hold on. <laughs> I'm dressed ready for the gym. I like these cute Amazon sets that I've got. And I have this in black. And then it's got this lightness to it. And then I have this brown one. My only issue is what sneakers to wear. My white sneakers that I keep in my suitcase are dirty because I ended up wearing them on the airplane from Toronto. Actually, I ended up wearing them all around Toronto because we were doing so much walking outside. I only had boots. Then I wore it on the airplane to and from, even from Turks, and so they're dirty. They were meant to only be gym hotel gym sneakers so that they would stay clean and now they're dirty and i'm afraid to wash them because i don't know if all the dirt's gonna come out you know how white be so i'm just like uh anyway i feel like there was a mistake made with this couch cleaning let me show you so when the people finished cleaning the couch they aligned all the pillows like so and i left them like that but then i started to feel i started to smell must in here and I felt like it was because everything was just on top of one another. So then I moved the pillows down and I opened, I put this fan on. The guy, I mean, they didn't say anything. And I normally get this washed once a year. But then I felt like because stuff was lined up, there was a brown pillow. <clears throat> I had them wash these pillows as well because that was lined up on this. Do you see this line? So annoyed. So I'm like, dang it. And then I had another, they did it. They aligned the other brown pillow right here and I see a line. And then it just smells like must. You feel me? At first it smelled so clean and fresh and now it just smells like must in here. So <clears throat> it's been a few days. I know the couch is completely, clean. It's completely dry right now. So I'm going to I'm going to put everything back where it belongs. But that just made me think like, oh, I should have Maybe I should have put them on the floor or turned the pillows over every few hours. I should have just done something, but I didn't. So here we are now. I don't smell the must anymore. And of course, I can always spray some for breathing the couch and it'll be fine. It looks nice and white and clean, which makes me happy. And I didn't have to do it. I didn't have to do it. So that saved me time and effort and energy. Because one thing I don't have time for is to waste. <laughs> Wait, what did I just say? One thing I don't have time to do is waste time. These pillows wash really well. And I wash them very often. So that's a good thing. Where's this pillow from? I know Coop, C-O-O-P, sent me pillows a while ago. This is Dolce Luna. Where did I get this from? Is this Amazon? I don't even know. But these are really great. I mean, they stay firm and good, even after washed. I have California King pillows. No, wait. <laughs> the pillows don't, are not cold. Oh, my God. Oh, I, I'm so annoyed. I just threw the pillow and it knocked down the, the picture frame. Oh, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. God. Anyway, I feel like that pillow is from from Amazon. Yeah, the pillows, the pillows are not called California King. The bed is California King. The pillow is just King. King pillow. Ah, ah. <laughs> oh, ah. Have you heard of the African gospel playlist on iTunes? It's really good. I was just listening to some music and I needed it. I'm glad that this, these Samsung dry washer and dryer sets still work. Although it'd be giving me a headache sometimes. It be acting up sometimes the dryer. I need to get a contractor in here to fix some things for me because I ain't got time. Just I bought a new suitcase, a new very very big suitcase, the large one, the, the mediums, two mediums. Not gonna work. I need more space. I know it's still fifty pounds, but not gonna work. I still love these. These get thrown all around town, and they stay in pristine condition. So. Amazon Basics, this is all that I use. in the black because it's chic and simple. So this is the medium one. And I ended up purchasing two of these very large ones. I feel like I used to have two and give one to my mom. I don't know. But I have two of these very large ones. And now this is what I'm going to be using. You know, feel me? Ooh, and YSL sent me a freak. You know what? That's what we're today. I'm going to wear this fragrance today because it's so good. Here it is right here. Wowzers. It's got black currant, fig, sandalwood, and I can't remember what else. It reminds me of On A Date because, On A Date Replica, because of the black currant. Oh, so amazing. And I love the sprayer. You can tell that it's quality, just the way that it sprays out. It sprays out in abundance. It smells fresh. It smells like sparkling champagne. It's so good. I love to spray my hands so that whenever you move your hands, people can smell your hands. <laughs> Duh. Oh, 
Oh, and, and Sal Gennetto sent me. I got another Boom Boom Cream. I got a Boom Boom Body Scrub. -a -dum -dum. And I got the Boom Boom Body from Mazella. From Mazella. From, hey, God of mercy. From Z. Hey. Mm -mm. From Meza. Mm hmm. You know, sometimes the accent is not going to allow certain things to be said. It's like certain things I shouldn't even be saying it. I shouldn't even bother myself. Don't bother yourself. From Meza. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Anyway, I smelled this and used it a little bit at the event in LA. What's it for? Why is it showing for filters? Hold on. How many pressing? Okay, I'm pressing all kind of buttons. That's that's wrong. Pressing all kind of buttons. I I had been introduced to this at the LA Sephora event. You feel me? <laughs> and yeah, so now I don't remember what she said. <laughs> Did she say to use this on top of the look um, under? I gotta look. I gotta look. I don't know. I don't know if she said to put it on under or on top of the, the boom boom cream. I gotta figure that out. I'm gonna spray some more. I like to get the neck, you feel me? Mm, oh god! <laughs> I just sprayed my face! Dang! Yo, woo! This sprayer, it feels like a water hose. Wow. But in the best way. You know? Not like a you just threw a handful of water at me. No, like it sprays out very well. But <laughs> those times, sometimes the spraying, the spraying, just be spraying in different ways. You feel me? <laughs> Yo, I'm annoyed by the whole thing and you should be too. Like what? Oh, did you see the body? Cause listen, now it's me and the body. You feel me? It's not just me, it's me and the body. Hello, hi. This top area still gets swollen, which is to be expected, which is what she said. So this top area. When she told me that, that's why I was like, I'm not going to gain weight. Hello? That's why this is not a weight loss surgery. You still need to be on a healthy <clears throat> diet and a regimen because stuff going to look ridiculous if you are not, you know? So my issue with those white Adidas sneakers is that... They're too big. I got size 10. I don't know what I was thinking. I should have got nine and a half. I wear nine and a half. I got size 10. And they're freaking huge on me. And I don't wear socks. Oh my God. Why do these look yellow? I hate this. Did I wash these? The white part is yellow. I hate it. I gotta come back and wash these. Like what? <laughs> I am in the mood for Starbucks coffee. Not my coffee. I smell so good. Wow. This is impossible. Put everything up in here. So spacious. I love using this backpack. It reminds me of being in school again, but obviously I'm not. So I put my iPad in the back, you feel me? Because I use that to follow along with the workouts. And then on the inside here is where I have my resistance band, my wallet, and just essentials, you feel me? And then the phone gonna go right over here somewhere. And my water bottle go over there somewhere. And then we get to go. I gotta get a new battery for this camera so that this one don't die on a kid, you feel me? New battery in action. Hi. And everything in between, no. Yo, there been too many times. Well, there was one time where I leaned on this desk. Let me show you something. Because this is not all the way over, okay? It, I, I just need this to line up here, but it's not lined up back here. So there have been times where I've been leaning back here with my arm, my hand, to get something right there. And then there was one time where this whole thing flipped over. Jesus, come and, come and see stress. Oh my God, I thought my computer was done. Thank God it wasn't done, da -da -dun -dun, but I felt like I was done, da -da -dun -dun. you feel me? No, thank you. I'm picking up an online order for Mena, M-E-N-A. I just do the online thing before I get here because I don't want to be sitting over here. And this and that and a cup of this and nah, I ain't got time. Just do it online, makes life easy, you feel me? Okay. It's gonna be for Mena, right? Uh-huh. Oh, you're perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Keep right. going. Thanks. He's turning around, turning around, turning around for me. He's making a way, making a way, making a way for me. He's turning around, turning around, turning around for me. Oh,
good morning. I'm on my way right now to rent my car to BMW because <laughs> the all below minimum lights, you will feel immediately lights. Kiniko, Kiniko. <laughs> Kilo day. Yesterday I had a meeting with my accountant and we are finalizing getting me on payroll, S Corp things. I should have been done this, but I haven't. So we're finalizing getting me on payroll, which is great because then I will be not only the employer, but the employee lessening my tax burden because the past two years I paid a lot in taxes. Like what? So that is happening there. And I need an oil change. I need to go to the gym too. I am so determined. Yesterday I was so tired. I didn't want to go, but I went anyway. And even though I'm getting my car fixed today, I'm like, I'm going to the freaking gym. You feel me? So I'm going to have, because like, they do drop off, I'm going to have them take me to the gym. It's a long drive, but I'm going to ask them. <laughs> I mean, BMW, the heck? You pay for luxury. So give me luxury service. Take me to my gym. <laughs> I'm so sleepy right now. Uh, I'm determined. I haven't filmed in a while. I need to do that. It feels like a while to me. I need to get some videos to my editor. Yesterday I did well in the freezing cold at soccer. I reviewed two videos. My hands were so cold and I was typing out the captions for them. I just need to be more diligent about it because I've been letting it pile up and then I'd be so annoyed. It's just so much. I'd be having like eight videos to review. That's how far ahead I am normally. That stuff happens. I get tired. I get annoyed. I get sick. You never know. So I just like to... Where am I? I just like to make sure that I'm ahead on videos. I just, it's just important. I don't like doing stuff the day of, the week of. Nah, 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 chill, chill, chill. Good morning, so let's go to BMW. Oh, no bed you cool, yeah. Dependable, dependable. Okay, so I'm here now, and apparently I don't need an oil change. Apparently, because I have a V8, it's, a, it's an oil guzzler, so I'll get the alert that I need oil change but it's not ready for an oil change just about 4,000 miles left to get an oil change and this is the second time within the 10,000 miles that I got an alert that I needed an oil change so they're topping off the oil right now and I'm like what this is normal this is annoying so I could have done the oil change but it doesn't need for me to pay a hundred and some dollars for an oil change when I just need to be topped off so I just bought two two liters of oil and the man is pouring it into my oil receiver <laughs> before and get into my vehicle for me. And then I'm gonna go, okay, that's good. It saves me the inconvenience of everything. Okay, that is so good. And I literally was like, I need to wash my car, but oh, they're gonna do it for me because they washed the car after you get it serviced. Now I need to actually get my car washed because they didn't, you know, they didn't take it away. They just did it right there in the bay. Is that what you call it? The bay? <laughs> I need to actually get my car sent, let them take it for days or whatever they take, however long they take it because I've scripted up my room so badly just on the curbs and stuff. Just a, a problem, okay? A nuisance. And they need, to, they need to go fix it. They need to go fix it. You hear me? I remember I wanted an X7. I wanted an X7, but uh, yeah, X5, I didn't see it. No need for a boot. No need for a banana boot. So, uh, I'm back home now. I did a quick workout at the gym because when I go late, I'm just not in the mood. Listen, I, I'm not in the mood in general to work out, okay? It's not something that I enjoy. But I know I have to do it, so obviously I just do it. Like, if I want to get the goals I want to get, I got to work out. Duh. I'm back now in my office because I'm going to edit videos. Got my laptop here for captions and my MacBook Air for writing things down. I always need to jot something down. A lot of things are on my mind at all times, literally. So I got this. Oh man, I might should do it. Like, like, okay, I have two campaigns due. They really do next week. One is due Friday. I chose Friday as a date, but I always put on my calendar dates way before the actual due date, so that ideally I submit the content early, if not right on time, versus scrambling. And it's if it's on my calendar and I don't tackle it, then I'm then I'm scrambling basically. So I say that because really I wanted to not all my devices. Really I wanted to film that content Sunday and I didn't. And today is Tuesday. But again, I'm still early. I'm gonna have to film it tomorrow. Let's get tomorrow. Target. I 
ordered these because I want to try these out. These are the same. I use the Kiss brand when I do my long acrylics. And I saw this and I said, you know what? Let me try the short ones too because I do like shorter nails. And I normally just do these whites. But why not have a shorter wrench? Yeah, feel me? So I'm going to do these later on this week. Oh, bless his name. I'm going to do these later on this week and see what I go on. Yeah, you hear me? And we're going to see what it is. I'm always thinking of ways to increase the production quality of my videos. And if you notice, there was one video that I did recently where I had two video, two cameras going, but I was having issues with my Canon R6 because it overheats and so does the ZV-1. So I purchased another Canon 90D because I like the 90D a lot. And if you've been here a while, then you already know that I have two spare lenses from my Canon T6i. I'm glad I didn't sell those because what I'm going to do is film with two cameras, both the 90Ds, I bought the body only, and I'm gonna use a 50 mil to get close-up shots like this when I'm filming, and then the whatever, because I have the 1835, use that for the wide shot. So I'm just all about the increasing the, the video quality. While I'm waiting on the 50, I'm waiting on the 90D body to come in, so right now I'm gonna film, and this is my setup. I have my R6 set up here with the 50 millimeter lens because the other camera is not here yet, and then this is my 90D 18 to 35 millimeter lens. I can link all of this below for you. Two of the, the same tripods, love these tripods, very sturdy. Let's get these angles. I love a good angle. So I'm excited to bring some flair to my videos. You feel me? <laughs> To my knees, keep losing sleep. I'm manic dream at midnight. So hard to please. Drowning in my fears is like an ocean. Yo, so I finished filming and I feel pretty. <laughs> and then I filmed a campaign. That is not due tomorrow, but I talk about how I give myself an earlier deadline so that I give myself leeway, space for anything that may come up. I just like to be ahead, you feel me? I don't like no pressure. I don't like any pressure. Men that pressure, be a swell. I do swell. I do have swelling here too. It's mostly right here. So it's swollen. Uh, matter of fact, I need to wash my garment, my skims situation. Wash the two of them. I'm making nuggets. It's a fast snack to eat. Wait, do I have, do I have guacamole? I don't, oh, I have guacamole. When I have not thought about what I'm gonna eat, have not prepared anything, just have a busy day, I will eat an avocado or guacamole, and then I will <laughs> eat some fruit, which I just had, some blueberries, and I am making some nuggets. Girl, just the most random things, but just something to satiate me, because I ain't got time. Oh, I also had a cheese stick earlier. I had a. Pepper Jack cheese stick. I'm uploading the footage from this video to my editor. And I'm just gonna eat some guacamole. It's fat, cheese fat, guacamole fat. It'll help me stay full. And we normally get a smoothie, smoothie king. And then when we get home, we eat. That's normally it. Guacamole. Guaca, flaca, mole. Now you coming my way up. I can switch the 
it up for your girl, I'm no longer a player. See that pretty face on my screen, that'll make my day. Bay, bay, I'm only looking for loyalty, all I need from you. I'm thinking you be the one for me. I can see it on you. Your love, they do me every time. With you by my side, we gon' shine. With big girl, you know you royalty. I've been waiting for you. The weather is nice and beautiful, which I love. This place is so nice and it just seems so peaceful. And I'll tell you more about this whole Paradise Island, which is a separate. You go over a bridge to come here. It's a tourist area. I like it. This place is nice. I definitely need to come back again. Sure. We can't run enough. Okay, so I ordered a salad with salmon and shrimp. I cannot wait for it to come because, hello, I need to eat. <laughs> I have not checked since the hotel yet. The check-in is at four and it's actually three, no. Oh, it's four, I gotta fix my watch. It's four right now, no. Oh no, my watch is on, is on Houston time, that's why. So yeah, check-in is now, but I'm gonna eat and then go to the hotel because like, wow. But that's okay. We got two. We got a queen because they sold out, oversold. But I asked her to give me a bottle of champagne for my inconvenience. <laughs> Hello. Duh. You know, I have to say that initially. Are you seeing my car? No, I don't. Nine. I don't feel. It just feels fine. Like it. It feels like I'm going to work for a conference. No, like I'm going on a work trip. So I worked. And I traveled a lot for work years and years and years ago. So I would travel, granted I didn't go internationally, I traveled around the US and I was fine. So it just feels the same way, honest to God. So I'm excited, I, I, I don't feel nervous at all. Here I am, in the Bahamian island of paradise. Pa paradise, I'm going, paradise, okay, 9206. That was confusing, this way. It's hot up here, why is it hot up here? Mm -hmm. oh, here we are. Oh. oh, it's beautiful and airy. She said that this room was bigger than the other one. Why is it so small? Is this like it just looks? I feel like the other one looked different. Is this my ocean view? <laughs> this is my ocean view with the trees blocking away. Come on, son. I mean. I thought my ocean view was gonna be more ocean, you feel me? <laughs> I'm so annoyed. Not the ocean view not being enough ocean. I'm so irritated. No, this area is baggy on me because of my mons surgery. The water view isn't water viewing, you feel me? Like, ugh. zang, shall we? Ooh. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that beach over there. So this is Atlantis. I didn't realize it's all called Atlantis, and then there are different towers. This is the coral. So it's a different, a different hotel on the tower, right? A different hotel tower on the hotel, whatever. I mean, the view is still beautiful. We can still see the sun rise in the morning. I think. I can't wait to explore. Oh, this noise. This noise. <laughs> Alright, 
I just finished eating at this place called Murray's yeah. Deli. Yeah. The food was the food was decent. It was good. I just had some breakfast. Look at this view, the marina. And now I'm gonna just do a little bit of exploring in the town. We'll see. We'll see what we get into. Corneum scar, what well, advanced scar treatment that I have been using that was recommended by my surgeon. And this actually does work. It has SPF in it and it's a silicone cream that I've been using. And there's a certain amount of time that you need to make sure you're using the silicone before it's no longer effective. So I've been doing that and I've gone through three of these, two small ones and one big one. I use it every time that I, after every shower, but definitely morning and night because yo, the scars are so freaking itchy. And I don't know if I told you this already, but I'm not, I am. I have a bit of a keloid around the areola, not so much on the hip. Mm -mm, just a small one right here, but the areola. And it's so stinking itchy. I actually have to catch myself to remember that my areola is higher than it used to be. So I'll be sitting there like, dang, some itches, and I don't realize I'm scratching my areola. Why don't I realize it? Because my right areola area is still numb. So I don't be realizing like, oh my God, that's my freaking areola. So that is still strange. That is still strange. Four months out to be like, I can barely feel this. I can feel it a little bit, but barely, you know, FYI. But I've been blowing through these. I found some on Groupon. So I made another purchase because I'm blowing through them. I need it. When I feel itchy now, I, if I'm home, I run to get this cream scar gel to put on because I'm like, God, oh, just help me because it does help with the tingling, the itchiness. Where was it? It was on the box. So it helps obviously to heal the scar and then help with the itchiness like it, it was on here and I was like oh thank god please and it does it does help Oof. but I do catch myself like oh god help me it is so uncomfortable and oh another another surgery update my the skin around my abdomen good god almighty I don't know when this will stop but I am so stinking itchy it is out of this world my skin is so dry and I still feel the tightness in my lower butt lower abdomen and lower back especially when I wake up I'll be like dang my skin the skin my cousin not the muscle the skin natural skin is so tight sometimes when I go like this I'll be like dang I actually feel like my skin is stretching I don't know what that's about because I had lipo 360 round and round right so I don't know the skin just Dang, it's just so tight. And I have my, I keep on calling this a garment. It's a bodysuit, the Skims bodysuit. I still wear it. My doctor said no more than 12 hours a day. When I do wear it, I still wear the belly button plug because this is so tight that it will make my belly button literally go in and it'll look like a line. And I don't want a line belly button. I want a circle, you feel me? But when I don't have this bodysuit on, I don't wear the belly plug, belly button plug. Yo. Yeah, man, my stomach is so itchy all around in the breast too. I just find myself scratching and then I can see the like rashes on my skin. So I know that my skin is just dry. And yes, I have eczema. So I'll notice the rashes and I'm like, dang, my skin is like very, very dry. So I have eczema in general. I have dry skin in general, but I've noticed a tremendous amount of dryness around my abdomen. And I feel like it's part of the healing. I don't know. So that has been like a what? Oh, actually I do. This is another one of the spectrum. Oh no, this is the box, the bioquanium. So yeah, that, oh yeah, I have two of these that are done actually, yeah. So I have two of these small ones, but I bought bigger ones because I'm blowing through them, right? You know that I love these Olay in shower moisturizers, rub it on after you have showered, turn the water off and then rinse it off and it leaves the skin feeling so hydrated. And then you just dry your skin off and you might not even feel like you wanna put lotion on top. I don't put the lotion on top sometimes if I'm on vacation kind of a thing, if it's gonna be hot outside, but in the crib I do go I do go over it with lotion because I have dry skin and I just wanna make sure my skin is extremely hydrated, you feel me? Love these Dove body washes. I got them on my subscribe and save. So I have a whole stash in the closet. The, uh, the closet with all my body and just a whole bunch of stuff, okay? The storage closet, basically. 
cocoa coconut and cocoa bitters hey coconut and cocoa butters i want to say cocoa bitters i'm thinking about nana anyhow that is really good i have gone through two of these tresemme conditioners because they're so good the rich moisture i like the way that it gives my hair a slip like a, a delicious slip and then of course they're humongous so that's good because i wash my hair several times today i washed and conditioned my hair and i all i did was put edge control in it let me show it to you all i did was use this 24 hour edge tamer all over the hair i didn't do the gel and the this and the that and it is laying my head down i do be noticing sometimes some white crust so i'm gonna watch this and see if that happens i have a different edge control that i got andrew renee recommended it i'm gonna try that one out and see if that one doesn't give me white crust but I just like how this laid me down without me having to wait for the product to dry. You know what I'm saying? All right. You know that I love this Smart Mouth mouthwash. Absolutely great. Two different chambers. You pour it into the cap. You got the white and the clear and the green mixed. And this makes sure that you ain't got no bad breath. Obviously, you still need to do your dental hygiene routine that we've discussed time and time again. Floss, brush, scrape your tongue, and then do your mouthwash. Praise the entire Jehovah. I did not enjoy this Nutrium Softener Creamy Clay Body Wash. It was like, I don't know, it didn't get sudsy. And perhaps that's how it's supposed to be. I don't like this at all. It's supposed to purify pores, soften and clarify the skin. I thought, okay, let's just go, because you know, I'm, I'm loving many of the Nutrium products. I don't like this. I don't like this. I like some of the other ones, but not this one in particular. So I couldn't even finish it. I don't know if you can see, but it, I just got to right here. I couldn't finish it. I don't know what's going on with that, okay? Elements Dynamic Resurfacing Facial Wash. I mean, this was just okay. It wasn't like amazing and fantastic, so I didn't finish it. It was just, it was just okay, you know? I had this from the holidays. I can't, I'm so annoyed. Philosophy Snow Angel Shower, Shampoo, Shower Gel, Bubble Bath. I just blew through this. I don't understand. I could never use the same product for my hair, my body. Do you do that? Let me know. <laughs> Amika Intense Bond Repair Mask. I used this one time because I use a lot of product in my hair. So I used this one time. I left it in my hair overnight. I do what I want to do with my hair. Praise the Lord. And I enjoyed it. This is the Deuterium Purple Ginseng Cleansing Balm. I did enjoy this. I blow through cleansing balms. This smells strange. Maybe it's the ginseng. I blow through cleansing balms because, you know, I'm always doing makeup and washing off. And this is the Pharmacy Green Clean. Both great options, by the way. Excuse me. Need a cleansing balm. I blow through them. Both great. They are, what, hardened. And then, because they're in this, right? You have cleansing balms that are, can be in a tube. It's more soft. But they're hard you take some and then you rub it into your hand it melts down like oil rub the makeup off on dry hands a dry face just like this rub it off it looks messy and gross rinse it and then use your cleanser to wash off the makeup and then i wash my face maybe two or three times because of the eyes the eyes be giving me a little bit of issue you feel me i did blow through this tree hut shea sugar scrub baby smells so delicious i actually just added this to my subscribe and save on amazon because i like it so much i like to put this behind my thighs elbows feet in the shower i do use the pumice scrub too but i like to do this as well and then even even on the skin like in general because with my laser treatment and then shaving in between you want to just really unearth any of those hairs that could be twisted back into the pore creating a boil and all that kind of stuff you want to get all that together okay praise the lord i also finished this Paula's Choice C15 Super Booster 15% Vitamin C with ferulic acid. This can be pumped into your face cream in the morning to apply to your face or do it by itself after a serum. Vitamin C works great with SPF, so you wanna do this in the morning time. And you can also put vitamin C in your body. The skin on the body is thicker than the skin on the face, so it's gonna take a little more. That's why you can do something as rough as a scrub like this on the body, but not on the face per se. You want to tear your facial, facial, I almost said facial screen, your facial skin up, and you don't want to do that. Praise the Lord. This is the Biosan Squalene Vitamin C. I'm starving. My stomach is like, oh. this is the Biosan Squalene Vitamin C Rose Oil. I did a, I did a few campaigns with Biosan, and I did enjoy using this. Why am I, oh, there's a little bit left, but it was hard to get it all out of the tube, but very nice facial oil to add to your, your skincare routine. Lawless, forget the filler overnight. Lip plumping mask. This didn't plump anything. I just go through a lot of lip balms around here. So, you know, that was one of those. I did get through this Glow Recipe Guava Vitamin C Bright Eye Cream. 
love a good eye cream need it hello mature eyes just like gotta do that Nutrium Phyto Glow Lip Balm. Again, lip balms, need them, use them a lot. This is nice and thick, which I love. I need my lip balm to stay on. I like a lip balm where when I wash my face and don't necessarily wash my lips, it's still on my face. Water going over it, everything, that means it's occlusive. This is that kind of thing. So this I really, really like. Nice and thick, but not in a gross way, you feel me? I have not finished a fragrance in ages. I finished this Nest Golden Nectar fragrance. So sweet, so sweet, so good. It smells like money, it smells just delicious. And on the more affordable side when thinking of fragrances. So love that. And then this Lawless Conceal the Deal Concealer. This is the shade Mink. I like to use this to highlight my face. I need to re-up on this concealer actually. This is absolutely done. This shade is absolutely beautiful. I don't have it on today because this is done. But love, love, love. And then, you know I go through these Eco Styler gels, honey, but I'm gonna start doing the edge control all over and seeing how that goes because I don't be having time for nor liking to wait for my hair to dry. So let's, let's see. You know, I always have gel on deck just in case this just acts stupid. Like I'm, I'm, I keep watching to see am I gonna get white crust? Because if I do, then I know tomorrow don't do this or don't use this particular one. So we gonna, we gonna, we gonna find out. One time out it. of ten, two times won't you be mine? We just can't pretend this love thing can take time. Three times then I'm in. I heard through the grapevines you missing a playtime, girl. Your beauty make them bow down I need that body right now Yeah mm -hmm. The love will never die down Together we can fly now So Baby don't you ever be afraid of fall in love with me Let me be your parachute Parachute so I was trying to show you my getting ready process and the camera the camera overheated this camera be getting my nerves it overheated but I am on my way to the mall last year I was invited to the same same type of thing I'm going to two different boutiques to learn about two different fragrances one is the Creed boutique and then one is the girl on I suppose pop-up in Saks so I'm going there right now and I have on, I'm gonna show you later, this cute top from Amazon that I actually really enjoy and then these pants and then my LV sandals slides. And it's a cloudy day today. It's definitely going to rain. It was sprinkling before and it stopped. And I was thinking, what do you wear on a hot, cloudy, a hot, cloudy, rainy day? Like, you know, it's getting like hot outside, but do you wear boots? Like, I don't understand. But anyway, I'm glad that it has calmed down. But yeah, I'm drowsy. <laughs> What's new, right? I threw on this wig. You feel me? I had curled it days ago. The curls be acting up. I used the blue flexi rods because I just let it sit in that. And I did my, oh, there's makeup on it. I did my nails the other day as well. These are some short acrylic French tip press-ons that I found that Kiss has that I love because they look so natural. So gone are the days that I do my, can you see, white polish because the white gel, what you call it, the white press-ons, because I just love this, uh, I'm into this acrylic look now. It goes with all of my campaigns because nails normally need to be a neutral color. So if you've been here for a while, you realize that I have stopped. I keep on going because this car is moving. Here we are. I've stopped wearing all of the colorful nails that I used to wear because many times I'll have it on. And then if I have a campaign that comes up, your nails got to be neutral, not loud, all of this. So I've just been keeping it simple, keeping my nails simple. It just makes my life easier. So I parked at Saks and I'm actually walking over here to Creed across the way on the first floor thankfully and then I'm going to cross back over and go back to Saks and then leave. Why am I armpit sweating again? I gotta do some of these armpit situations. I'm getting annoyed. It's bothering me. Right, I'm just, 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 I'
Good afternoon, everybody. Hi. Good afternoon. Hello. You have a security person with us today. Oh. They're not for your protection, they're for mine. Oh, okay. <laughs> because I don't think I'm going to fly home. I, I just took off my ring. I'm staying right Oh, there. okay. Like, Look at this crowd. It's so beautiful. Oh, my God. times is that he created these scented leather gloves. Okay? So what he used to do, he used to rub animal fat and oils into the leather that made the leather really, really soft, but more importantly, highly fragrant. Hmm. And members of high society and these royal families would use these gloves to combat the poor hygienic conditions of the science. Because London today is beautiful, but London <laughs> in the 1700s, you guys? Right, no one shower. People just stink. The newly reunited spring flowers, and we really modernized this fragrance. So, this fragrance we've had for quite some time, spring flower, and she's beautiful. And of course, spring flower, when is the best time to wear it? In the spring. In the spring, you guys, right. So this is an iconic tree scent. And I want to show you this. And by the way, when we smell spring flower, I want you guys to smell the individual ingredients. Mm. Right? Because our formulas are not complicated. Um, most fragrances have between 300 and 800 ingredients, you guys. Wow. They'll say apple, but it's a whole <coughs> bunch of ingredients that make that. Those are like the cores, mm -hmm. so it adds up really quickly. Some of our fragrances are under 20, some of them are under 10, and it's harder to make a fragrance that way because each ingredient has to be of the standard, right? Because you can smell the whole tree, you can't hide anything. Yeah? And something you should know is that when Olivier Tree is developing a fragrance, remember that Tree's organ? Yeah? He always has a person or a place in mind for the inspiration. So the inspiration for Spring flower is Flora. And who is Flora? She is the goddess of spring. This is the move for, right? I smell her. I mean, she's feminine. She's mystical, right? She's beautiful. Right. Thank you. So, I want you guys to enjoy it. Put it on. But before you like, oh, it's right in your eyes. <laughs> Take a second and understand that it actually took years of development, blood, sweat, and tears. And you know, we work only with farmers and suppliers that really have a great philosophy like us, that they are responsible, that they treat their workers well, the kids that go into school. That's very important for us. You know, so we only work with responsible growers and things like that. So not only are you buying a piece of art, but you also find a product that is source responsible. Yeah. Yeah, that is the makings of a luxury company. We're not fast fashion, you guys. Yeah. That we have two speeds like slow and stop. Yeah. That's it. Stop. And that's it. And I think uh, we're almost dying. <laughs> so this is the iris, right? Oh my god. I'm not sure if it's. Mm, I'm not sure. Oh, it's almost nutty. Swords at all? They're tailoring shoes. Oh. <laughs> That makes of sense. Taylor so, Stewart. you know, this is, this is, again, you know, the only way that Cree moves to the future is bridging to the past. Mm. And this, this, is how we, this is how we operate with guys. That is, yes. Oh my God, so my, my battery died and I never don't have batteries on me. Well, today's one of those days I don't have batteries on me. I met the most amazing two followers. Oh my God, I even, we talked so much, even tears were flowing. I didn't get their names, this is so terrible. And I'm rushing to the girl on pop-up. Good God almighty, but you know what? God was working, so you can't rush God. So here I am. All right, how's it going? Pretty good. How do you like your new home? Amazing. Cool. Every, like every home. Like every girl. Okay, mm -hmm. you know, it's not just, it's Ooh. glamour, yes. It's luxury, yes. Mm -hmm. Ooh, clean, but, fresh. Exactly. So yeah. it, it has a little bit of musk, but it's fresh, clean, and it has some uh, neroli flowers. Yeah. It's beautiful. This is like something you can put in your bed sheets and go to sleep with. Yeah, it's I like relaxing. this. It's relaxing. Um, and it's universal mm -hmm. to our fragrances. Okay. okay, yes, good to meet you. Oh, so I like our that. fragrances, they are unisex with the majority yeah. of them. Um, for example, day and night fragrance. You okay. Wear daytime, nighttime. It's called Musk Outre Blanc. Outre Blanc, okay. 
I like a little sweet, a little rosy. This one has almond. I like this. Yeah, it's, I don't. I don't like to be subtle. <laughs> I like this a lot. Ooh. So you want to make a statement? Oh, okay. Oh, absolutely. I'm not here to play any games. <laughs> is it oud? I knew this you were gonna oud. give me an oud. Yeah. I knew it. But it's not a heavy oud. Okay. It's a very soft oud. Okay. Oh my God, you're right. Oh, it's oud new. It makes sense. Yeah. I like this. And this is, has vanilla oh my and raspberry. So that mixed with the vanilla, raspberry, and oud, it just softens it up. Wow. Or we can make it darker if you want. We can make it darker with this one. I. You said it, it's got oud and then vanilla and raspberry. Vanilla and raspberry. Ooh, this is lovely. This is something you're gonna walk into a room and everyone's gonna be like, "Who is that?" Hello. And they're gonna be like, "This is it." Ooh! Oh my gosh! Now, this one's gonna darken it up a little bit. It has more of the huh. cardamom. You know what? I actually do like this. Wait, it has santal. It has santal, cardamom. Which to me more is for more manly. But I like it's, um, it's a little softer than that. And it has growth. Awesome. Oud nude it is. Okay, I just smelled so many of these fragrances and I'm getting oud nude. It smells so good. I cannot wait. This was nice getting to know this brand. Hang on. And we're gonna do this hammered gold top. Okay. Was that you? You got us something? No. Okay. Oh, yes. uh oh, it failed. Oh. Hold up. Let me situate you. Oh, wait a minute. Thank you. All right. We in our minds think that that lame excuse actually exonerates us from the responsibility or the thing that we were supposed to do. And I came to tell you that it doesn't. You still have a responsibility. As a matter of fact, I think the greatest gift God has ever given humanity is responsibility. Respon response ability. The ability to respond. That God is looking for your ability to excuses that we give. Lame excuse. Something like that. How is that going to
Sleek Fit. These are a size medium. I have to get used to the fact that I wear a medium because I'm so used to wearing a large. But this bra is a large because I bought it in a medium and it was just cutting into my skin too much. I'm just going to cut into it because of the lines, but I didn't like how I was cutting into it too much. I feel bloated. I'm still swelling. I'm just ugh. even just up here today, whatever. And I just woke up, so I feel... Uh, but anyway, I'm going to start wearing shorts to the gym, which is wild for me because I normally don't. Not this short. I had some that went here, but these are really short. And I was afraid that these were too short, but they're good. I think they're good. I'm going to wear them today. <laughs> One thing I don't like about my legs are these veins. They've gotten worse. They've gotten worser. And it got worse with the surgery because of the pressure on my legs. I have been wearing a mess out of these gym jackets. This stuff is Amazon. I've been wearing the mess out of these. I have a few colors in this and I like it. And I, I just knew it was going to happen because I asked my doctor why I have that. And she said it's pressure and it's also hereditary. And I don't believe I've seen this on my mom. I like this because you can do this to it. I don't think I've seen these veins on my mom. I'm going to check next time I see her. But I'm like, what? So I've, I know that it can be dispersed with an injection and then it, it just goes away. So I'm gonna do it. I've done some research. It's just a matter of going to actually do it. So yeah, I this is my gym outfit. It's giving legs. I mean, my legs are thick, 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 thick. I need to do my hair, but obviously I'll do that when I come back home. Fragrance. You know I do the fragrance when I go to the gym because it doesn't matter where I'm going. You gotta put your fragrance on. You feel me? So what's today's fragrance gonna be? Oh, well, let me also show you that. These shorts do have pockets, so cell phone can go right in here. This is the same as the pants that I have. I have these in pants. So yeah, I don't know if I'm going to wear these now actually, because it is 60 outside. Okay, I went and put these on. These are Amazon. It comes in a set. I'll link it if you want it, but I'm just wearing it with this. And fragrance is fancy. Hold up my phone. Yeah, look. Let's tighten this because we do have a waist and it needs to show. Without showing the waist, it's giving, I don't even know. <laughs> Is it giving SpongeBob? I have no freaking idea, but you have to show the waist to give some balance to the body. Okay, I'm actually back home. I, I was just too focused to film, but let's clean up. My kitchen is so a mess. I'm thinking ahead about some While sequence of events this I want to happen, YouTube about video. some way I want a certain person to act. And I'm telling myself, I will only be okay if I kind of like swim across this shore of uncertainty and arrive at that future point where I'm getting those things the way that I want them. What am I not doing in the present moment? Where I am? What's going on around me in the moment? What's going on internally for me in the moment? What is my actual body state like right now? And if my body state happens to be very upregulated, very energized, very kind of frantic and panicked, why? If I were to drop that panic, if I were to downregulate, to associate myself to the moment and to ask myself what's actually happening right now, is there some sort of inner state I'm worried I would arrive at that I'm very afraid of?